Illinois, Ms. Newman. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Ranking Member, and thank you, Administrator Guzman. So good to see you. So um, first of all, thank you for all your leadership. I have seen a steady climb in um, activity um, and the uh, information dispersal of uh, various PPP issues and EIDL issues. So thank you for all your help. Um, have heard it across the board on both sides of the aisle, by the way. Um, and then secondly, I do have a question for you with regarding the 504 program. So we know that um, a record um, has been made in 2021 that um, the SBA has approved 8.2 billion, I believe, in loan volume in fiscal year 2021, exceeding the 7.5 billion cap. In, uh, is the 7.5 billion enough to meet the increased demand for the 504 loans? And if there, if there isn't, if you can share a little bit of editorial around that, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you for that question. The 504 program is an important economic development program, creating jobs. Uh, we, you know, we have that $7.5 billion cap on the program, and uh, we exceeded it uh, last year. So those uh, additional loans, uh, nearly a billion, did have to sit uh, for up to three weeks waiting uh, for us to enter into the new cycle. So we definitely feel that there's heightened demand on this product. It's a very popular product, and our lenders are doing great work uh, ensuring that their businesses are served. So uh, we support the efforts to potentially increase the cap or have flexibility, just as we do on the 7A, to adjust that if demand is increased towards the end of the year. Uh, and so we both we support both measures in terms of uh, flexibility for the administration to adapt to the marketplace demands. Thank you, and I yield back. Next. The gentlelady yields back. Now we recognize the gentleman from Texas, uh, Mr. Williams, vice ranking member of the committee. 